So this week, we're going to look at some footage from the week after I bombed. Um, instead of me cutting in and out this time, I'm just going to let you guys watch the full clip. Of course, please feel free to leave your feedback and whatnot in the comments. Uh, but do expect that this won't be perfect. It is, after all, just me working on the jokes and working on delivery and whatnot. So yeah, let's see if you can spot any differences from the night I bombed. I hope there's some differences. Um, on to open mics. I won't be doing any open mics in these coming weeks for obvious reasons. I know I just touched my face. Relax. Um, but yeah, I won't be doing any open mics. But I will be working on some new stuff to post on this channel. So hopefully those things are better than this haircut. And yeah, enjoy the clip. Oh, fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Totally. So yeah, it's a really tough time to be Chinese right now. It's like we're taking a lot of fucking L's right now, for real. I mean, looking at headlines like checking the score when you know your whole team is fucking garbage. <laughs> like every time I see an article and there's a video in it, I'm like, yo, please don't be Asian. Please don't be Asian. But then it's like, you know, panic buying strikes again. Choppers fight over rice. It's like, motherfucker. <laughs> Sometimes it's like fridges are empty. Fighters panic over milk. Like, milk? That shit ain't us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but toilet paper, water bottles, that shit's a toss up. You know, it could be anyone. Right? But for real, ever since this whole uh, Wuhan situation, a lot of anti Chinese racism has been seeping through. You know, suddenly everyone's an uh, expert on Chinese culture, right? Tell the whole world we eat all this weird shit. It's not even true, okay? I don't even fuck with mushrooms. Right? You don't go from picking mushrooms off your pizza to being like, excuse me, can we get the sweet and sour pork and the fat and the broth, please? <laughs> yes, uh, skin and fur on, of course. <laughs> what the fuck? That's such a huge leap. You know what I mean? You act like when we seen that video of the dude with the mice, or that bitch with a bat, you're acting like we see that and we watch it like it's a like Gordon Ramsay masterclass. <laughs> like, oh, dip it in the sauce first. <laughs> like, no, man, I'm trying to fucking disgusting too, okay? <laughs> you know, and, and honestly, by now, you guys should really know it's not all Chinese people that eat dog and all this weird shit. It's just the weird Chinese people that eat it, right? So imagine for a second that your racial stereotype was based on the worst and weirdest people of your culture, right? What would you be known for? And you're right. Y'all be known for fucking kids. <laughs> so, that's just the truth. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff obviously might not have killed himself, but definitely was not Chinese. <laughs> And that's a tip to my Chinese homies too. Don't let these kid fucking people make fun of you for eating dog. <laughs> <laughs> right? What's your favorite restaurant? The pet shop? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. At least I can go to the park, you pervert. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not just the food thing. Um, I've been seeing some people say that, you know, everything that's happening right now is karma for all the stealing that Chinese people have done over the years. Right? It's like stealing. As I recall, you came to us and said you'd want to pay 10k for Hermes. So we changed that Exante Grab to Exante Goo and made that Hermes for you. <laughs> suddenly, we're the bad guys. We're fucking OG 3D printers, okay? Where's <laughs> appreciation? Talking about trademark, copyright. This is all post Netflix language, by the way. Because before Netflix and streaming wasn't big, it took like a week to download a movie. Who were the people that hooked you up with the latest shit on DVD? That's right. Yeah. Us again. Yeah. Woo. All right. Calling us thieves. We're thieves. <laughs> We're thieves in the same way Robin Hood was a thief. Okay? <laughs> Fucking heroes, baby. All right. But the racism getting so bad, I've legit seen a video of a Chinese lady telling another Chinese lady to go back to China. <laughs> Can you imagine what that Chinese lady is thinking? Like, go back to China, bitch. Who's on the same flight? <laughs> you know, but I'm not saying there's no reason to be mad at Chinese people. We all hate rude Chinese tourists, right? I mean, not all tourists are rude, but the rude ones we all hate, right? But I feel like everyone's reacting the wrong way. You don't get mad at them when they act at, like act up at the buffet. All you gotta do is form a line at the exit. You know those motherfuckers are gonna cut in front of you, and then they'll be out the door. <laughs> like, how fucking hard is that? <laughs> Anyways. But all that said, though, I really think it's a good time for us to kind of get over each other's differences and try to learn from each other and teach each other so we can kind of grow as a global culture and face all these world issues together. But in the meantime, I do have a tip for all my rural Chinese homies and Chinese tourists around the world. 
that's Qingbujai Bashishan Dai Xiaobian. And for those of you who do not speak Mandarin, that's stop shitting and pissing on the bus. 